Hello all, welcome to Universal Windows Programming Tutorial. Uh, this tutorial I'm going to explain about how to use the conditional XAML concept. So why condition is required? You can see Microsoft frequently releasing Windows 10 update switches. So it started a, a pre it started uh, 2015 then frequently is releasing uh, anniversary update, fall create update, creator update features like that is frequently releasing. So each release some of the enhancement and our new feature is coming. So if you add the new features into our app, let's say for example last release the uh, windows fall creator update features. So if you are using that features, it's fine. But if your application running in the lower version let's say for example anniversary update or creator update your ap application running the what are the new concept you has introduced your app those APIs those classes it won't be available in the lower version so that we have to check if it is running in the lower version no need to execute this functionality do some other things if this fun feature is available like do this else we can do this like that we can make so that's the reason condition is required for example uh, it's already created one sample application just name is conditional XAML this is just a, nothing is a blank application here what I'm going to do I'm checking uh, one of the condition like uh, for example uh, if API information so generally we are using the view model to check this uh, present um, this API is available or uh, the new contract available or like that so uh, here conditional XAML we are focusing on the universal API contract only so I'm just checking is API contract present or not so here windows dot foundation dot and uh, universal api contract sorry contract so we're just checking if this api is available contract version that is the second uh, let's say for example contract 5 is available or not yes so it's available you some some two condition going to execute this if block else execute this block so what I'm going to do I'm just adding one text box here text block so text like uh, okay I'm just make empty only here now font says for example 25 foreground color like red so what I'm going to do here if AP is present oh, one more I have to add the name of the control txt status so if the AP is present text Hey, I am new feature or uh, okay new API else txt status here I am checking hey I am only API that's it just build the application so here what I am doing is I am just checking if the universal api contract major version the second present or not that means if the version 5 is present running platform you have to change it to just display hey i am new api else just display hey i am old api that's it uh, one second rebuild it's going on it's ready and just start the application Deploy started. Let's 
see the condition is true so new api is available the new contract is available hey, new api suppose for example testing purpose i given some long number for example api version 25 is available or not so just start the application just application deploy started here you can see that api version 25 is not available so it's execute the else case so that's the reason it's displaying here i'm old api okay fine i hope up to this you can understand what is the use of api information is api contract present so this completely handling the view model code be it page how to handle this concept in the xaml so this feature has introduced in the windows 10 fall creator update the xaml supporting checking that uh, api contract so you have to make sure your application version the target version should be fall created update so i'm just testing purpose i keep both version uh, on the same version only so going back to xaml so here we are going to add this concept so first what do you have to do we have to add on the namespace namespace i am uh, just telling present and uh, uh, this namespace we have to use in this one here we have to add the uh, api function that api contract which we seen in the view model so here question mark then just go to here just check if api contract present then the information which contract you want to check so I'm just telling Windows API universal API contract then version which version you want to check file so this is the way we got to declare the in XAML page so next uh, if we added actually so here two cases if else so if condition we added so now we have to add the else case also so how to add the else case the same code just copy paste using not present so i make the different namespace here not present and one more changes here you can see is api contract present instead of that is api contract not present we can execute this statement okay now what i'm going to do i'm just adding one more text block uh, this time i did not declare any name here this text block what i'm doing it i'm just making if ap present text field a i am XAML condition one size 35 just make foreground color let's say for example green this is a if condition so we have to add the else case also so else case what do we do we have to add we have to use not present namespace text a i am old xaml page here i just change it here i am new xaml page that's it so we have to add the namespace in the namespace 
question mark here you have to add the contract name so ECAP contract present ECAP contract not present that's it so for example if you want to use this API based on the property of the new controls or like that whatever it is so here I'm using the text block only so in the text box I'm just using namespace dot text if the API is present you have to display I am a new XAML page else not if not present I am old XAML page and just start the application started yeah deploy started so here you can see hey I'm new a XAML page oh, it's get a little bit overlapping okay, I will correct it so just make good row one okay so I'm just increasing the number for example 15 increase the number this is a just testing purpose in real scenario it should be less than one only because fault created uh, universal API contract is 5 so if you are running lower end it should be less only for testing purpose I just keep the some maximum number so here you can see hey, I am old XAML page so that contract is not available so we are executing the else case I hope you can understand how to use the conditional XAML concept in universal windows programming thanks to all